Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today I am back and I'm going to be reviewing a new modded assault rifle that I've just been testing out and this one is from the modded overpower weapon guy uh, Green. Uh, this one is actually not as OP as uh, Green normally goes. It pretty damn OP still but it's uh, it's in his not so OP section which is quite funny um, so the OP section must just be one shotters uh, but this thing's pretty damn powerful but it's a uh, real good fun to actually try out and uh, it's probably aimed for those people that uh, just want to do some mobbing and uh, kill things quite quickly but obviously not go around and overpowered shotting everything um, so for just general enemies this thing's pretty good, um, but we will be taking this to Saturn very soon, and you'll see that uh, it's not as OP as Green normally goes, because, uh, well, yeah, I should be able to one-shot Saturn with a normal Green weapon, and uh, we haven't been able to do that in this one, but uh, I am actually having to use uh, different elements to uh, actually lessen the OP-ness, so I'm using, like, shock against loaders, uh, rather than the corrosive, or it'll just absolutely decimate them. Uh, but yeah, anyway, as always, we'll uh, review the weapon, but first we'll start off by showing you guys exactly where to get this weapon. So, as always, you can click on the link in the description, that will take you straight there, or you can head over to the Borderlands 2 Community GitHub and click on Borderlands 2 Mods. Then all you've got to do is navigate your way to Scream section, which is pretty high up in the list in alphabetical order. Click on that and uh, he's nicely sectioned his uh, subfolders into OP and not so OP. We want to click on the not so OP and then click on the kitten and uh, then that will bring up the weapons information page. All you've got to do is click on the raw tab at the top right, right click and then save as and then save it into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder. Remember what you've saved it as because you're going to want to grab yourself a kitten and uh, come in the game and execute it using the console command which I've just done there and uh, here are my four different elemented kittens which have now been changed due to this uh, patch mod going on so as you can see this is very very fast firing no ammo being consumed as well uh, and very rapid um, e-tech flaps coming up right there but uh, you can see whether you aim down the site or actually hit fire it it's a very very fast weapon so this is what the weapon looks like in the overview, a uh, very nice looking skin on it as well, quite bright white with the uh, blue, looks very good indeed. Different to his usual skins which uh, some of them are uh, just normally one colour, things like that, it's nice to see uh, a bit of a difference in the skin. So uh, yeah, they're also red rarity now, so that is uh, what it looks like, time to tell you what uh, it's all about and we'll do that on the way to taking down Saturn. So, yes, uh, he's aware that the kitten is semi-decent already. This just makes it have a badass skin and some small buffs for overpower 8. It still has the healing percent, so kill away. So, what's been changed? Well, there's now E-Tech projectiles uh, on the gun, which he says is not terrible. Uh, it has increased damage, faster fire rate, and an E-Tech barrel. The flaps should, you know, flap, he said, uh, which they very much do. Very quick flaps on them. Um, some crazy healing percent that puts the grog to shame, it is pretty true, you can see right now I'm being shot at by uh, one of the largest enemies in the game, uh, and uh, yeah, apart from uh, my shield taking a bit of damage, uh, as soon as it gets down to my health it'll just constantly, constantly heal you. Um, so uh, I have actually tested this out though, and the healing did uh, actually give in at one point, and I think, I think it was up on top here, on the runway, uh, I was getting shot by a lot of people and I did go down but in general uh, as long as you're firing at an enemy you're going to hit constantly heal yourself you can stand in the middle of a room of people shooting at you and you should stay up uh, that's just basically because of the sheer fire rate on this thing uh, if you can land the hits uh, you should be able to keep yourself healed at all times it has infinite ammo obviously uh, as you can see or I would have run out a long time ago very high accuracy and uh, it's had a, did it, a change in name, Red Rarity and it claims the cool new skin which is uh, Dave's Beercat skin I think, uh, it's been highly modified though 
uh, and uh, he's very happy with it. It says he looks badass in his opinion, uh, which I do agree with. It does really, really look good. Um, very nice skin indeed. So uh, yeah, as you can see, taking this uh, round with the loaders, like I said, I'm trying to use different elements because if I use the corrosive right now, I would actually uh, just be ripping through these quite well. But it, it, all in all, it is not as overpowered uh, as a normal Green weapon. You know, Green does not lie about the fact that he makes over P weapons. It's his name on GitHub, uh, and he's very famous for it right now. Uh, so it's nice to see that he's not just making stupidly modded overpowered weapons that just one shot everything and uh, his weapons actually do offer you a bit of variety like i said for those people that do not like op weapons this probably still is not the one for you but uh, it's getting better for people like that with some of Grimm's weapons and uh, yeah i generally had a really good time uh, running around with this and killing people it was just a good mobbing weapon if you can't be bothered to actually just grind away kind of thing you just want to get in and kill a few things take out a few frustrations grab yourself a badass kitten which i've named it uh, and yeah fire away so there you go guys that is the kitten overhaul from green i've called it the badass kitten and uh, yeah give it a try let me know what you think of it down in the comments below and uh, i'll be looking forward to seeing what people think of it anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one